So you, you have seen today some of the hazards and hard work that go into providing a network for a room of 200 plus. We have, we have to add just over 200 people in the room today, which is uh, the biggest UK and off meeting ever. You can see some of the hazards of that. You can imagine what happens when you scale that up to 1,500 um, protocol engineers who don't actually understand network operations as well as people in this room do. Um, so. The ITF meeting happened um, just over a month ago um, at the Hilton Metropole in London, um, and BT provided the bandwidth for that, and I just thought it might be interesting if Neil shared the experience of providing that firsthand. Um, um, yeah, I've got a slide, it's probably not useful to cover, but I think the sort of meeting that's been going on in an event like this, <coughs> the first is, is to maybe, um, there's a few big hotels in London, Hilton um, and Paddington is, is one that's on the corner where the A40 is, you've probably gone past it. Um, it's probably not the nicest hotel in London, but, it, but it's big and it has some big conference facilities. <coughs> we, asked the, we were asked the question, is it on net? Um, yes. Actually, that's probably not enough. Is it on net and do you have capacity is probably the other question you need to ask. Um, the other thing about the Hilton, um, they allowed us to interface to their Wi-Fi network. So you could see the IETF stuff in your room. Um, there's not many hotels that do that. And when you find one that does, um, you, you kind of give them a free service that you can remember forever, which is fixing their Wi-Fi. So Hilton in London, great Wi-Fi now, um, thanks to the IETF ops guys. Um, <clears throat> and and the, the, other, I mean, the other big challenge we had was um, they wanted exchange diversity, which in London, is quite a difficult thing to provide um, because the fibre routes kind of over time they move um, quite a lot and the records probably aren't as accurate as we'd all like them to be. Um, we provided two one gig circuits both with IPv6 and IPv4. Um, they had a bunch of test gear that they put on that worked fine. Then kind of the day before the, the meeting went live we put the, live, the, the proper production gear on and it, the IPv6 stuff stopped working which was a bit of a panic. It turns out the config was wrong on the right, on the on the live router, but right on on the test router, which kind of confused us for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> and and I actually never made it to the IETF meeting at all that week, which I'm very frustrated about. But I, I had a couple of um, issues going on, um, both at work and at home, that prevented me from getting there. But the overall feedback was very positive. Um, and it's kind of just a general message out there. Um, so I've done this for IETF. It'll also be used for the ICANN meeting later this year as well, I believe. Um, and at CNW, we put in connectivity for the link, link the link, sorry, the links um, meeting room um, uh, at the uh, TUC place. And <clears throat> um, I kind of encourage people to help with these meetings a bit more. Um, I think it's the, uh, some of the organisers are finding it harder and harder to get sponsorship to do things like connectivity, um, and I, my, I kinda, it's kind of an advert for um, the internet and, the, and this industry is very good to us, and, and giving a little bit back, which is what I convinced BT to do to help the IETF meeting, is a worthwhile thing, and I think if everyone can, can think about that, um, it's great for the industry, and the sponsors, I think, in the, of, of kind of helped us here today at UK and off, and often different service providers help us at other meetings. Um, <clears throat> in the end, it all went fine. There was a couple of wobbly moments. Um, and the great news is, because we were able to deliver it in, we ended up delivering it in 45 days, um, the, uh, I kind of argued with the BTNet product manager that the new lead time for BTNet should be 45 days, and it now is, as opposed to 70. So there can be some upsides to use it as a trial for new processes for things that you might not try on a normal customer, that you can try on a different customer. That's it, and one thing on Lightning, um, it upsets ADSL, holy shit, does it upset the PSTN? And, and I will leave you with that to uh, ponder on. <laughs>